All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're here once again. I'm gonna scooch up here so you don't get get a view of my croc, I mean, um, the major um, crotch here. It's Major Linux, majorshouse.com. And I got some, I picked up, I uh, didn't necessarily pick it up, but it got delivered today. I have a HDST by West Digital Travel Star, one terabyte, 7200 RPM laptop hard drive. Um, I actually picked this up for the PlayStation 4, as you can probably you can barely make out down at the bottom. Um, you upgrade a PS4 with this thing. Apparently, um, HDST or Western Digital, for that matter, knows that people have been buying these hard drives to upgrade PS4. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I didn't buy it specifically for this, even though it did come highly rated from various um, gaming websites. Um, I guess, you know, they have to do with this all the time, downloading all the games from all the publishers. Sure, they know what they're talking about. And apparently, this is the one to get. Um, I guess if price is an is an object but not much of one i know people have been recommending um getting at least back in 2014 last year they were recommending actually getting an external hard um, an external hard drive that you can easily pry open and get the hard drive from out of there because it was just a laptop hard drive as most external hard drives are so yes i'm going to replace the ps4 hard drive with this one and the one i'm taking i'm going to take the one out of the ps4 hard drive and i'll put it in here um, this is geez, now lost actual enclosure earlier, but I found it now. And it's a Saber it. Um, the so it's, it's the um, Saber it's at a hard drive USB 3.0 enclosure. So I'm gonna put on hard drive in there. Um, it's easily just kind of slotted one way or the other. Shit, uh, I've kind of rem there it goes. I right, slot it that way away from the ports and kind of set the hard drive in here and kind of. Set this back. Kind of, I guess, put it in the screws, or whatever, and then slot it back in. And then the order for it right now sounds very hollow, obviously, because there's nothing in it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in the PS4. So, I'm actually going to do is I'm going to unbox this. I actually have done it before, it's been cut open. Grab that out. Right, so, I got some books and stuff in here, apparently. Offering cloud services, three gigabyte free. I guess if I was trying to back up some data or, you know, trying to, I guess, transfer files over in between hard drive upgrades for a computer at least. That sounds weird. Apparently, this is making a little rattling noise. Um, just want to open that up. Okay, that's why. So, apparently. Silicone to keep things dry, and here we go. So, a nice little, um, let's see, I believe it's eSATA, SATA, I don't remember. Um, hard drive, looks like you got the connectors here. It's, one, it's an HDST, one terabyte, very small thing. It looks at, um, yeah, so I'm gonna put this back in the bag here, little anti static bag. So I'm not ready for it yet, but at least so that you know what it looks, what um, what it actually looks like before we take it out. Um, so I'm gonna set this off to the side, get this stuff out the way, because now I'm gonna bring the man of the hour, my dusty old PS4, to over two years old, it's been with me since the very beginning. So I picked it up at Target at 6 a.m. before I went to work. It was great. Um, nobody ever really thought to go to Target to get a launch day PS4. And that's why I was one of the first ones in line to pick one up without a reservation or without a pre-order. This is great. Um, so yeah. And one thing before I even go any further. I hate when people are going on YouTube and they're talking about, um, having dusty PS4s. Like, it's been a big issue of these one guy's been going around and talking about it. It's like kind of a thing that's been tossed around and, um, actually a couple of days ago. Actually, as a matter of fact, it was kind of yesterday, too, when I saw some of the tweets come in. Um, given the fact this is um, December 24th, so a little bit before Christmas, there have been people talking about, you know, Sony's first-party lineup or whatever was kind of lackluster this year for the holiday season. So I was like, yeah, my dusty PS4. Like, well, honestly, unless you are a neat freak and you're actually cleaning your systems out, which I should be doing, I probably should take a can of compressed air to this. Um... Your PS4s will remain dusty because the fact they are very inanimate objects. Whether you're using it or not, they will always remain dusty. I know it's a, it's kind of a um a term like a turn of phrase or whatever. 
but I really think it's a dumb one because of the fact that I use this thing constantly and it's still fucking dusty. My Xbox One is dusty. I use that too. I have two Xbox Ones. They're both dusty, mainly because of the fact that they just fucking sit there. That a Wii U, it'd be fucking dusty too because it sits there even when I'm using it. It's just dumb. Like It's not like my PS4 will get up and start jogging in place when I turn it on. It's like it becomes Nathan Drake when I play Uncharted. So that's, that's my little rant. But um, So we're going to go ahead here. We're going to actually pop this open. So we're going to change the hard drive here. So again, what you want to do is I just have to practice this a couple of times. We're going to kind of press down towards this line here. And press down and it'll pop out. It's as simple as that. And then it's a little finagling. Don't wouldn't worry too much. It's not going to break. So yeah, there you go. It just raises up. Now I'm going to learn with you. I, I, looked, I took a look at this beforehand and saw that apparently there's like one screw that needs to be taken out. So I'm going to try to zoom in on it if I can okay close enough so we're getting there so we're getting there let's focus in on it so it looks like this screw right here that's the one that you're going to, have to take out and hopefully it should move everything else so I'm going to go ahead and get a trusty screwdriver out here one of my trusty screwdrivers that I have laying around the house a small bit. I really do hope I have the screwdriver for it, or at least I have it up here. If not, I'm probably going to get so I probably should have checked that before I did this too. But you know, you know me, good old Marcus doesn't do that. As a matter of fact, I have my multi tool that actually might have a small enough screwdriver. Um, so I'm going to take my screwdriver here, put in a little plus here, and let's see. Let's tighten it up a bit. Put it in here, and no, oh, seems like it's too big. <laughs> so let's see, let's take a look at my multi tool here. Maybe it's small enough. Ooh, four. Cut myself. Let me see if this is small enough. Ah, it is! Yay, go multi tool. I knew I bought you for a reason other than cutting boxes open. But trust and believe it has come in handy this Christmas season for opening packages. Alright, so got the screw out. Let's make sure we don't lose it. Alright. Ah, yep, that's exactly what happens. Take the screw out. And hard drive slots right out of place. And that's great. So, all right. And now the beautiful thing is too, because I didn't know, is if you can see there. All right, let's see. Let's kind of get this in place. Hey, look at that. Hard drive inside of the stock of inside of the PS4, at least my launch PS4, is an HDST hard drive. Hmm. No wonder they give instructions on how to replace them. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna move this up, probably zoom this out a bit. Let's see, yeah, I'm sorry about this. This is very, very rudimentary. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna bring this, actually probably closer up. Focus this in a bit. There we go. All right. So now that we've got that open, so now as you can see here, probably on the sides, um, should, okay, yeah, right there. You see here, got two screws here, flip it over, two screws here as well. So we're going to go ahead and remove those. Um, I think that this screwdriver, and my bigger one actually probably will work out a little bit. So I'm going to, okay, or maybe not. So some, Zoom back out here. I'm gonna see me working. Take the multi tool screwdriver. Actually, I'm gonna start this one back here. Twist it out. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit, and you can actually take your hand and. Yeah, sorry if I go off camera here. I'm kind of working in me space right now. Where it's like, yep. All right. Okay, that one might need me to use the screwdriver to get it all out because of the fact that it's sitting under that kind of housing there. Alright, go ahead and 
take this one out because my computer goes so my Mac goes to screensaver mode, which does not bode well for me. Let's see, put that back. Okay, and one more. Yep, one more screw. I'm sorry. So we'll take out this back one. Screw it bed in. Now just have to widen it. Just pop it out with your hand and. There you go, voila, slides right out. So here it is now, we have a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Now yes, it does have data on it still. Um, it's formatted in whatever PS4 formatting, um, hard drive formatting it uses, but that's okay. We'll put it in the enclosure and hook it up into a computer. We should just be able to wipe that clean on out. And what we're gonna do here is slot the new one in. So what you want to do is you want to make sure, because I probably didn't observe this before, is this back bar here, the barcode, the thing that you're not connecting into, you want to put it into the back of the grill here, because obviously that's the part that slot out. The open area is where you want the connectors, because it's, it's going to help you push it in. Um, and you want to align the holes just properly. All right, it's probably slamming it down like that. Did not help in this case at all. So I'm going to... It screws back in. Hopefully, if the line, if the holes are aligned properly, because that is important. Not only for holding the hard drive in place, but to make sure that the hard drive is far enough out to get in contact with the um, system. It's a lot more difficult than it looks because of the fact that, again, yeah, the part where it's like, hey, yeah, you want to make sure it holds tight. That kind of holds you here too because of the fact that the it's not this rack is not form fitting to these hard drives. All right, make sure that's in tight. Get the other screw in. So I'm gonna tackle all the open holes before I get to the one that's kind of trapped underneath the housing and like said so yeah once you get one screw in apparently apparently it's i'm sorry I'm shaking hands here apparently um the rest of the holes kind of do a line just fine so yeah it becomes fairly rudimentary to um get this in or maybe not maybe a little bit of work for the back one with that one back one now that i got that one in the one underneath the housing should be a little bit easier to do because it will now just be in line. There's like nowhere for that hole to go. All right. That's screwed in there tight. And now there's the one for the housing. So let's see. I turn it the other way. Yeah, I know my finger's in the way here. But okay, maybe this one does want to act a little funny. Ah, cramp. That's what... Yeah, when I was doing, when I was learning how to do this stuff, not like just for regular computers, like, yep, now that I know how to do it, I swear I'll never do this again because of tiny screws, my big hands, I get cramps in my hands, it's just the worst. All right, so now we got the new hard drive installed, and just to make sure, oh shit, I almost dropped it. <laughs> now just to make sure, um, can get a focus on that that does say one terabyte 70 rpm seven seventy hundred rpms all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this here slot that right on in there now it should be connected right on in there with the ps4 go ahead and take this screw actually screw a little bit with my hands Okay, it's in there and take the screwdriver. And man, this multi tool is amazing. Not only does it slice and dice, but it does screw in PS4 screwdriver holes. Well, PS4 screws. And now it's in securely. We're done. Okay, so the PS4 hard drive has been installed. Um, later on in the video, we will verify that that's actually, been, that's actually happened. 
All right, so get this back in. What you want to do here is let's see. Let's zoom this out a little bit more so you can actually see the back here. I can see the rest of the table too. So what you want to do is you want to take the back, the grill piece here, and put it to the back. You want to kind of put that on first before you lay down that first bit, before you lay down the front bit, and then slide it in. Snaps into place. PS4 hooked up, ready to go. All right. So set that off to the side because we want to move over to the next bit, which is actually to. Oh my goodness! It like literally just started raining. <laughs> this is great. Kind of scared the shit out of me. <laughs> All right, so now the next bit, um, we got like two minutes left to go in this video, is to install hard drive. So we do is take that out, pop that in. Want to line up these here with again the connectors on here. So actually, okay. So apparently this, what's this bit? So, okay, there we go. Nope, no, that's not it. Is it? No, that's not it. Jeez. Oh, okay, there we go. So, all right, so those who did not see what just happened, I've never done this before, obviously, because I didn't have a hard time to do it. What you want to do is actually slide this in, kind of for next to, this will depict next to this is actually different for each whatever um, external job but for the one that I've got angle it in kind of like that slide it in drop it down a little piece right look little nubby here that will kind of keep this in place kind of keep that from moving and so we'll place it in slide it for and now we have a all right there we go it's locked into place so now we have a 500 gigabyte external hard drive it's pretty dope so, um so yeah all in all this cost me like ah oh, geez excuse me a little cold here um cost me about 90 bucks to do but um yeah we should be good to go so now we have external hard drive we have ps4 that's ready to go and now we're going to go see if the ps4 actually did install prop let's see if the ps4 hard drive install actually went pretty good all right, now that we've got the um, hard drive from the PS4 plugged into, um, well, I guess plugged, yeah, plugged into, inserted into, I don't even know. Um, we got plugged into the enclosure here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the MacBook here. If I can find the USB port. Oh, there it is. All right, got it in. And, and then, of course, with this one, it has a nice little on-off switch. So I'm going to turn it on all right the blue lights on here and let's see all right so it says that the disc you inserted was not readable by this computer which is obviously which is obvious because it came out of a ps4 and i don't think the ps4's um file system is readable by any computer or at least just not a mac well because i doubt it's be ntfs so probably some linux based os and yeah, since I don't have screen recording capabilities installed on any of my Linux boxes. Yeah, sure, we'll just initialize it. Um, let's hope that I can see the J Micron Media. Yep, so it's 500.11 gig, 500 gigabyte USB external physical disk. <clears throat> Actually, there is data on this hard drive. Um, it's a big chunk of it right there. Let's see, 100, no, it's not 100, I can't even match what that is. Oh, there it is, yeah, so 451.1 gigabytes, so that's safe to say it's video games. All my games that are installed on this drive are going to be gone. Um, yeah, so let's see here. How do you how do we do this? I've I've never actually had to do this um this partition. Okay, there we go. Let's so format into exe fat so that it can be read on Windows. Oh wow, it's actually partitioning. It's actually gonna format a partition as opposed to the entire thing here. Yeah. 
Jeez, where do I go to do this? Uh, brace? There we go. Okay. X fat. Let's see here. Um, external drive. I can spell it right. Let's see. Let's just do that. Just keep on. It's XFAT so that way my windows um and now we have an external drive or external DR apparently and should be empty. Ta da there's nothing on it. And essentially on Windows it should show up the same. Should be able to use this on both Windows and Mac and also Linux as well. So it's three things I can use it on. Also probably PS4 at least the PS4, the Xbox One though probably well, no, on the Xbox One, I should be able to use it too if it had media files on it, so that way I can kind of treat it as like a huge flash drive. Um, but then I have to reformat if I want to actually install games and stuff on it, but that's few and far between, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so the hard, um, the hardest enclosure works. The PS4 hard drive has now been repurposed as an external hard drive. So now next, I think we just got to move on to testing and see if the PS4 is actually working with this new hard drive. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've got it up here running. Uh, this is the full, so what I had to do actually in the background in preparation for the update is, I mean, for pulling up after I connected it, I actually had to down, download the, um, the update file. Um, a heads up, if you are replacing a hard drive, it's a little bit different than if you were trying to update it using just USB while the system, while the OS or firmware was still installed. Um, when you go to PlayStation.com, you, like you hover over support and click on um, updates, and you click on PS4, towards the top of that page, there will be a link that says if you're doing a full system install or something like that. What you want to do is you want to click on that and it'll take you to a specific set of instructions for this full system install, like even if you know what you're doing. It's recommended that you click that because of the fact that the update file that you will need for a full for the um, the hard drive replacement is a full system update or a full a full system install update file, which is three times as big as an act was a normal update file. So similar to so it's like you're actually installing the full firmware as opposed to a diff package. Um, like I said I made the mistake of downloading the diff and that was like 250 meg. Whereas the full system package was like over 800. Um, so yeah, please be aware of that. Make sure you have at least one gig flash drive. Like they recommend 900 free, like 900 um, megs of free space on a flash drive. But you know, hey, get a gig flash drive. It's like 20 cents nowadays. Um, so yeah, so that got that installed. Make sure that was all good. Um, so we're here now at the setup screen. So I'm going to set that up. So let's see here. Should probably. All right, I take care of something real quick. Now we're ready to go. So let's set up the PlayStation system. Yes, my PlayStation camera is connected and apparently pointing <laughs> above my head. Yep, there I am. Um, so well, that was easy. Didn't need to go run and get a shirt. Because it was just obviously going to miss me altogether. Looks like the time is right. It is December 26th. Um, sure. Okay, yeah. Alright. Like that. Let's go ahead and accept. Alright. So let's start it. So obviously, <clears throat> so obviously, I probably won't be signed in. Yeah, I know. One. All right, so that's good to know. So the game here. Uh, wow, it's very bare as compared to what my um, system normally looks like, uh, especially when I had my PS4, um, I mean my um, PlayStation anniversary stuff up there. But before we end this video, there's one thing I need to check up, and yep, there it is. 
or of hard drive space. And obviously, there's geez, like two, like about 140 gigs missing for something, and apparently I'm or apparently just gave me or took away something. I don't remember where that number was before. I just saw it change. Up top, there's like 861.3 now, as opposed to what it, whatever it was before. 50 gigs have already been used for applications, and I'm not even sure where that 50 gig came from, unless that 800 megabyte file was compressed to just a diamond, and then they just exploded it. But um, so yep, free space down at the bottom, which I can select, is down at 811.7 gigabytes, which is far more than 500. So there you go. This is proof that the hard drive install worked properly. We've got everything working and now it's just a matter of getting things installed. Let's see here. I don't remember. Okay, fine. Let's... <sighs> so apparently that came installed or something? Like normally it would have to run, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna have to Happy Play Gamer. So if it actually pulls up that silent game, then I guess we'll um, I'll back out and do the um, loading test. We also want to see it to 7,200 RPMs. Actually, do run fast in the 56, um, 5,600 RPM. said my Spurs lost last night so to me it just seemed like a very terrible game but then again the Rockets probably played a lot better than I expected them to oh so it is copying a game alright yep it's doing the silent game Let's just see something real quick. Starting to believe that it is copying teams in as they get loaded into the system. Oh, wow. All right, LaMarcus Aldridge in his Portland uniform as he plays for the San Antonio Spurs. That's great. Yeah, who knows where that's loading from? I don't know. And I probably shouldn't never have used this game, so... Yeah. But all right, I mean, it seems like everything's working just fine. We've got the install in. We've got NBA 2K16 kind of playing. But, um, yeah. So it seems like the hard drive went just fine. Everything is working great. This has been Major Links, MajorSouse.com. We've installed a one gigabyte, uh, one terabyte hard drive into the PS4, and it worked successfully. Now we have a PS4 with a larger storage capacity and a 500 gigabyte external hard drive. So yeah, and all in all, it took about <clears throat> cost me about I want to say 80 bucks to do. Um. Provided you already have the tools, it's not that hard to do. Just follow instructions and everything's just easy peasy. Until next.